Okay guys, so this is how to do Eno's B&B combos, because I understand that they're a little bit difficult, so I thought I'd do a little bit of an explanation of how to do them. Firstly, for the meterless combo, uh, this one, uh, that I just messed up there, as you can see, the timing is a little bit tricky on it, particularly on this last part. So after you do your first, um, like, slash version of the big, big stroke the big tree, you have to quickly do a standing kick, and honestly, I just mash it. <laughs> I don't time it, I just mash it. So after any hit that leaves you kind of close-ish, um, so some, not something like this, because you're too far away for the standing kick, but anything like this, you can get that meterless combo off of it, or even something like this off of your standing punch. Uh, let me try that one more time. You can get that combo off of it. So that is really good that she can get you know a decent chunk of damage off of any hit. Uh, it's pretty powerful and not a luxury many characters get to have. So like, if you do something like this, you can just always get that kick into the chemical love and get a big chunk of damage. Even like if you just do like a random hit like that, you can always convert your random hits into this and get a big, decent, well not a big, but a decent chunk of damage for free. But yeah, the main thing about this is just making sure you time the kick. And I mean, honestly, you don't really have to time the kick, just mash it until it comes out, and then when you see it comes out, do chemical love. It's pretty easy once you get the timing down pat. Okay, for the next combo, a little bit more tricky. So this is a combo that you can only get off of um, your 6H. And after you, so an example of something you can do is you're like, you're slash into 6H. And you go into your heavy slash version of Stroke the Big Tree. Roman cancel it. Then you have to dash up just a little bit. So because she flies in the air. So you just do a micro dash and then you do slash. Slash, and then jump cancel it, and do heavy slash into her sideways dive kick, heavy slash, and it'll look like this. Little dash, and then into the, um, the sideways dive kick, and then once a few hits of the sideways dive kick have hit, you click, you press heavy slash again, then she'll do a jump in the air, and then you press heavy slash again, so you do the, the whack in the air, and then there'll be stuck on the wall, and then you finish it with chemical love. And if you do it correctly, which I may not, it should look something like this. Oops, that was wrong. Okay, and then chemical love, finish it off, and you get a big chunk of damage. 219 for a single RC, that's pretty good, that's pretty good damage. Okay. And for the last combo, so if you're wanting to extend off of this and do more than just, you know, kick into chemical love, you can do an RC. You can't actually RC after this, unfortunately, to get a combo most of the time. Um, so, like, if you've done something like this, you can't really go into that and get a combo off of it because it sends them far away. So you're always going to RC just after this to get your combo going. So if you've done a bit of a longer hit confirm like this, so something where you're not going to get the 6H, um, you can do a combo like this. So what did I do there? After I do the Roman cancel, I dash up quickly and do a jumping jumping dust. And then as I land on the ground before Kai, I do my standing slash into my standing close slash into 6H and then into chemical love again. And I'll just quickly show it again, but it looks like this. So you dash up, oops. This part can be a bit tricky, so you have to do the dash quite quickly. And you also have to do the standing slash kind of quickly. And then chemical love, and if you're not right beside the wall, you do have to delay the chemical love a little bit. But if you time it correctly, it does, act it does work. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna try. There we go. So, yeah, then you got that extension, and then obviously you can add that on the end of, like, literally anything wherever you get a uh, Stroke the Big Tree. So this is, like, gonna be your go-to one. Because it gets pretty good damage, and it goes to Wall Splice if you happen to be near a wall. It is a little bit tricky, but once you get it down pat, it's it's a really cool and really flashy looking combo. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool. So those are three combos that you can do with Eno. Hope you enjoy it. Wait, wait. Yeah.
there we go. So those are three combos that you can do with Dino. Uh, just explained a little bit more how to do them, how to time them. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thanks for watching.